In fact, here's something I wanted to ask Koreans about that, um, about Korean society on how they feel about, <clears throat> about whiteness. Because I noticed that with all the makeup brands that exist, they, they um, and how and how women especially want to like keep keep their, keep your skin um, uh, very light and everything. What, what's the story behind that? It's very tricky. Well, it's when your skin gets brighter, your lip color will emphasize. So that is the basic rule of, you know, white and red and stuff. Well, I don't know which country it came from, but, you know, especially Japan is well known for their, their, what do you call them? Pale skin? Yeah, their pale skin, but, you know, that kind of their culture. Oh, their the standard of beauty? Oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Korean like, kabuki, kabuki or what? yeah, geisha stuff. Oh, geisha. Oh, the geisha. oh that's what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. I think that kind of influence. So they are, you know, uh, I think this culture also exists in China when they go out for a play drama. Mm -hmm. They print it, they paint their skin white first, and they put on other makeups in color. I think it's just for emphasizing to make your facial expression look bigger. I think that's oh. what I think. But I think it came down to us. Right now. So, so are you saying that that the mentality of having like whiter skin or whatever came from the Japanese, and, and, and it, it kind of like came into Korean culture more or less? I, th I think you influenced both of them back and forth, like both China, Japan, and Korea. Okay. Okay. Because they also had white powders to make their skin bright back in the like, Joseon Dynasty or so. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So it's been very long history to make our skins bright. You, you know what I find interesting is that even during uh, World War II days, um, when you had like the girls dress up as a geisha, uh, it used to be an attractive thing to have black teeth. Mm -hmm. Like they would like uh, charcoal their teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why would they do that? I mean, it was an attractive thing back then. Mm -hmm. You know, have white face but black teeth. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, I, I, wonder how, I wonder what, I wonder, I, 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 would, I would like to figure out what what where in history um okay I see, yeah I see. yeah yeah where, where in history did they, did they make yeah. it go like oh yeah okay yeah this isn't attractive anymore <laughs> so um as you guys can see here oh. her teeth charcoal yes yes <laughs> so, as, as, as he just said okay. yes charcoal his her teeth yes mm -hmm. that's, 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 yeah that's what you were talking about right? Okay, so, yeah, but I saw a YouTube clip because there are so many makeup tutorials, video mm -hmm. that's it originated from Korea, but I saw a uh, black woman trying that video tutorial, but it completely failed because it doesn't really match her skin color. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of really massive drive in Korea, but it doesn't really apply to everyone in, the, in this whole world. So. No, it doesn't. Maybe just for Asians, I, I guess. Yeah, and one thing that really bugs me is there are a lot of black women here in Korea that complain about the fact that there aren't enough makeup products for black women. Mm -hmm. And and I and I go around telling black women, I said, well, I mean, I mean, this isn't our country. We need to stop going around trying to, well, you know, we need to, we as people need to quit um, trying to force other countries to um, uh, um, supplicate to our needs and everything, just because we're not the majority. Well, Sean, um. Have you used any like Korean cosmetic? Cosmetics? Yeah. Not really. I don't. I don't, I don't wear makeup. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't do any of that stuff. Okay. I, I don't do any of that. Shampoo. Shampoo. Oh, oh, you mean so? Oh, well, it's still. Well, well, yeah. <sighs> well, it's not cosmetic, but. Um, oh, it can be so. Not. Well, I mean, outside of like like the occasional hand cream, not really. Mm -hmm. I mean. Foam cleanser. Foam cleanser. Nah. I mean, even sure I like wash my face and everything like scrub really hard, but I don't, I mean, my face naturally is naturally like shiny, I guess oily or whatever, and I just have like good natural youth, I guess. I mean, I'm about to be 33 next month, and uh, people will say like, wait a minute, what happened to you in your 20s? But it just comes natural with me, it's, it's uh, genetics. I have, no, I have no need for any, um, any cosmetic products.